I'm Anil Kumar and here is a very good question based on linear quadratic systems. The question is, determine the value of k such that g of x equals to 3x plus k intersects quadratic function f of x equals to 2x square minus 5x plus 3 at exactly one point. Correct? That's what the question is. Now, it really means what? Okay. Let's make a rough sketch. Uh, let's say we have a parabola kind of like this. And if it intersects at one point, that means uh, somehow the line is tangent to the curve, correct? kind of like this, right? So we are looking for that point. So in a system of equation, what we understand is that at this particular point, both values should be same. So, so g of x should be equal to f of x, right? So you understand why I've written this. Now g of x is given to us as 3x plus k and f of x is 2x squared minus 5x plus 3. They should be equal. So let's bring them to one side. Solve for x, right? Okay. So we get here 2x squared minus 3x. We already have minus 5x uh, plus 3 minus k okay combine the like terms so we get 2x square minus 8x plus 3 minus k so that becomes a quadratic equation basically now a quadratic equation could have one solution two solution or no solution right now what is the condition for this equation to have one solution since we need exactly one point we need one solution, right? So for one solution, the condition is b square minus 4ac is equal to zero, right? That is what the condition is. Now in our equation, what is a, what is b and c? So here a is equal to two, b is equal to minus eight, and what is c? c is three minus k, the constant, correct? Now I hope you can do it very easily. So basically, we'll replace all these numbers and find k, equating it to zero, right? So b square, b is minus eight, so we'll do minus eight square, minus four times a is two, and c is three minus k. So at this stage, what we have done is, we are equating b square minus four ac, to 0, where a is 2, b is minus 8, c is this, right? So we are equating this to 0. That's the whole idea. And that helps to solve, correct? So we get 64. Taking these terms to the right side, we can write equals to 4 times 2 is 8 times 3 minus k, right? So let me solve this equation right here. Rewrite again. 64 equals to 8 times 3 minus k. I can divide by 8, right? So we get 8 equals to 3 minus k. Bring k this side, I got 3 minus 8, which is minus 5. So the value of k should be minus 5. Is that okay? So if k is minus 5, then they intersect at one point. So our answer is k equals to minus 5, right? So that is how you could actually find the answer of this particular question. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.